Hey, remember that kid at Fort Garrison Elementary? He ran the Twilight and Glen Burnie, changed to docks with his brother David, used to hang out at Cancun Cantina. Yeah, that guy, Gary Stern. That guy could write a book. Sadly, he can't, but his wife can. It's about dying at the hands of our health care system with the jury that agreed. I was on the dance floor, which I usually was. Cancun Cantina. I was doing a line dance. And there he was. It's right, right there. And as I was doing a dance, I went. Oh, that look brought him from over there to over here. And ignored me. Well, time danced on, and they did find time to dance, and then the night happened. So he goes like this, and I'm like, no. And he goes halfway on the steps, and I was hooked. That's all it took. Any man that just wants to meet me halfway is the man for me. They lived happily ever after, until death did they part. My husband has passed, but my husband is with me. And I'm still fighting for my husband. Fighting with words instead of a sword. And she's the best interview I've ever had. The brilliant David Black, who has written Ripped Apart, Living Misdiagnosed. And this book describes what it's like on the street level, what the American healthcare system is like on the street level. It reads like a frightening fairy tale from hospital rooms to courtrooms and advice on how to talk to a doctor. Question them if you don't like their answers or you don't believe them. Don't think that they're gods. There's only one of those. In the end, Gary and Carol would win one of the largest malpractice lawsuits. Gary, all he wanted to do was make sure that his wife was taken care of for the rest of her life, even though his was over. It's a true love story. I mean, nobody sleeps in the hospital for three and a half years with their husband or their, or their spouse that I know of. It was absolutely a love story and Carol did everything for him and made him live longer. Wait a minute, this is a love story. Tomorrow night, Ripped Apart will bring us together. Hey everybody, Carrie's in the house. They stop the music and start playing Remember When. And she'll know her angel hunk will be watching from Heaven's Bar. You're invited out to the Cancun Cantina from 5 until 8. It's free in this book. I mean, it's an incredible read about pain and suffering, judges, doctors, and of course, love. Carol will make a big announcement to start a charity to help others fighting from their own bedside.